So in this video, I'm going to be talking about gene mutations. So in part one, I talked about what genes are, where they come from, what they mean. So if you don't know what genes are, I highly recommend you to watch that one first. Also, to understand this video better, it would be beneficial for you to understand what transcription and translation is. So maybe watch transcription and translation where I use Bob the Builder analogy to explain it. Now, as you can see on this image, it's pretty um, scary. All of these diseases, right? Like something you can't imagine, right? Now, all of these diseases, all of these diseases that I show you are examples of diseases that result from problems in your genes. These aren't random. They come specifically when there are problems with your genes. Now, for example, Marfan syndrome, albinism, sickle cell anemia, so many. There's so many more than even just these. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking specifically about gene mutations that don't lead to any diseases. So sometimes, changes in your genes could actually result in a neutral effect, in, in, a, in an effect that doesn't mean anything. So even though your genes were changed, you still look the same, you still behave the same, nothing about you changed. In part three, I'll be talking about specifically how changes in your genes can actually lead to these diseases. Specifically, I'll be focusing on sickle cell anemia that you need to know for the IB. You don't need to know these, but these happen with the same idea. So today it's just about finding out how changes in your genes could actually lead to nothing happening. This is very important, very important. Now, so here's what I mentioned. So we're going to talk about neutral mutations. In this video, next video, disease mutations. Now first, what are gene mutations? So gene mutations are basically, if you watched the first video, you'd know that a gene is like a specific section of your DNA that code for a specific characteristic, such as your height, your hair color, and all of those kind of traits. Now, a mutation in that would mean that something about your code was changed. So you know, we know that our code, so for example, on this image, we know that our code is in a specific order and on purpose in that order because if that order were to change it could be potentially fatal and you could have a disease but also if that mutation happens it could also mean nothing happens so even though for example this she this c became becomes an a instead of a c even though that change happened sometimes um, a neutral mutate that's called a neutral mutation because the final product isn't affected. You stay exactly the same. So remember, with, with the purpose of a gene is to go through transcription and translation. Transcription is the process by which we fetch the gene, and translation is the process by which we go and express it, go and make it happen. Now, if the, the code changes, then the final product will change, right? It's like when you read a instructions, if the instruction changes, you'll end up doing a different thing, right? Now, that's the same thing in your DNA. When your instructions change, the final product will change, but not all the time. That's why we have neutral mutations. Sometimes the final product remains the same. Now, a way to help you understand the idea of gene and um, DNA easier is you can just think of your DNA as like a book and your gene as like a as like a page or a chapter of the book. Now, your gene in your DNA is like a specific section of the, the of the DNA, right? This is a specific section of the book. And when there's a problem in a specific chapter of a book, we know that the full book will not make sense anymore. We won't understand, right? Now, that's the same thing in your DNA. When a specific section of your DNA, a gene, gets altered, sometimes the human starts getting a disease and it doesn't, it's not the same anymore. The human won't make sense anymore, just like a book won't make sense anymore. Now, focusing on what a neutral mutation is. So I'll go slow here to make sure you guys understand. Now, we know our DNA is, is only there for instructions. Your body is going to use those instructions to make a protein. So a protein is the most important thing because a protein is going to do all the effects. Once a protein is made from the instructions, that protein is going to cause you to be able to build muscle, to look the way you look like, to, to function the way you need to function. Right? So the first step... I'm going, to start, I'm going to explain now how neutral mutation happens. So the first step is your body is going to do transcription. It's going to go and find that specific gene that it wants to express. 
So let's say this yellow part is found and it looks like this. And your body is going to do transcription because we know transcription and translation is how you turn that code into a final product. So let's say we're considering this code, this specific gene. Now through transcription, we know we're trying to make an mRNA from DNA. So let's say this DNA is now copied into mRNA in the nucleus. After the nucleus, this mRNA is going to leave the nucleus and go into the cytoplasm where it's now going to be expressed, where it's going to be turned into the final product. Now here we have it. Now remember in transcription, we're going to use this code to basically call for the specific um, amino acids. And these amino acids will be joined together to make the final protein. Now how this works is this code, just like in English, we have different words, right? Different words have different lengths, right? Some can be 20 letters long, some can be three letters long. But in DNA, or in RNA, the letters are only, the words are only three letters long. So for example, in this case, AGG will be one word and CUG will be another word and they mean something. So AGG will mean one of these amino acids and CUG will mean another amino acid. And when they're put together in certain combinations, they form the protein that is important for function. So this table right here, the purpose of this table is to call for, is to show which codes mean which amino acid. So right now our code is asking for AGG amino acid. So where is the AGG amino acid? So what we're going to do is we're going to find A, the first base. So these are bases, right? This is base one, this is by base two, three. Then this is base one, two, three. There are only three bases in a, in a word. Um, so this A, so let's look for A, the first base. Here it is. Now we're going to go in this row down until we see the second one, which is G. So we're going to go down, the second base is G, right? Here it is. So we're going to go down the A aisle until we're in the G aisle. So we know it's going to be in this section. Now we need to know, is it serine or arginine? So we're going to look at the last base, G. So serine or arginine, and now G means arginine. So you see how to read this table. You first have to focus on where the first base leads you, and then where the first base, base meets the second base, and now which um, and what the last base is asking. Okay, that way it's pretty simple to read this product. Um, and then once you found it, so once so right now we found that AGG is right here, and it means arginine, AGG arginine. So that amino acid is going to come, AGG. Now the next one, CUG. Where is CUG? So it go C U G. There it is, CUG. It's leucine, so that's the next amino acid. Now, once these two are joined together, that is the final product. So this is a protein. Now, this protein will go and do its function, okay? So we assumed that this was the correct DNA. There's no problem in this DNA, so the function will be good. It will be happy. Your body will be happy, okay? Now, the next one. Now, assuming there's a mutation. So in this case, it was normal, right? But assume we, have a mu assume we get a mutation. So this DNA will now be changed. One of the letters, there will be a base substitution mutation. One of the bases will be substituted for another one. See? Now, instead of TCC, GAC, we have GCC, GAC. So it's one of the bases were changed. So we're going to consider this not normal. We're going to consider this was the normal DNA, but somehow there was a substitution mutation and now it's slightly different. So now the mRNA that we're going to get from transcription is going to be slightly different. So it's going to be CGG, CUG. So we know CUG, the last word, is going to be the same. So we can immediately bring this one down. So we know half of it will be at least the same for sure. But let's look now at this code. So we know these two codes are now different. The mutation caused the one word to be different. Now it's CGG instead of AGG. Now let's see what problem that might bring. So let's find what CGG is. So C, G, G. So it's going to be here, CGG, arginine. So surprise, out of surprise, we actually get the exact same one. That's weird, right? So a different code actually brought us the exact same product. That's weird. So that means this is the point I've been trying to make. So despite the fact that they're, that um, mutations are normally bad, sometimes a mutation can actually lead to the exact same product as the original DNA. So that means there's no problem. Which means this DNA, which means your body will still be healthy, even though there was a mutation. 
So this is called a neutral or silent mutation, when there's a mutation in your DNA, but the final product is the exact same as the correct one. So you can see here why this makes sense, because arginine, this protein, can be coded for by so many different things. Like, it's been coded by four, even here, five, six, so many. Arginine can be coded for by six six different codes. So even though your code changed, it might still bring the same amino acid, which means that the final protein is still the same. So this is called a neutral mutation, when the mutation leads to the same product and so there's no disease. In the next video, I'm going to talk about serious mutations. This is, this is also an, a specific disease that you need to know, sickle cell anemia. So check that one out next and it should make sense. But make sure if you don't understand, watch these videos. They'll help you a lot.